So it's taken me over a year to build this do-it-yourself pack raft. Today I'm going to do the maiden voyage, inflate it, and try to pack raft on the river through town, and uh, hopefully it floats. Okay, the tire inflator was gonna take forever, so it's time for plan B. Now we're ready. Made it to the river. I think I'm at a drop-in point on the south side of town. I really have no idea what I'm doing. So there's, there's definitely a decent chance that this may only last for about 100 feet, but hopefully this adventure gets me through to the other side of town. Well, I made it through the first rapids. They weren't big and it wasn't pretty, but um, that was a test for this first float. And uh, lesson number one learned, the water temperature is a lot different than the air temperature. So immediately I thought I had a hole in the boat, but just had to stop real quick and inflate it. So moving on. All right, I made it to the other side of town. The boat holds air, but the seat doesn't, but that's probably better than the alternative. So I float, it was fun. I wasn't exactly sure where to get out, but I think that answers my question. So I'm on the other end of town and I'm by myself. So I guess the only thing left to do is to roll the pack raft up, strap it to my running pack and run back to my truck. Um, paddling downriver was definitely a lot more fun than running this stuff back up river. Slowly but surely. You can say what you want, but I think I've earned it. Just made it back to my truck, completed the loop, did a little pit stop at McDonald's. Uh, paddled, I don't know, six plus miles through town to the other end, and then ran uh, about five and a half with the pack raft, all bundled up on the back of my running pack. This is not the ideal setup. So I've got things to tweak and fix, but uh, the, the, the raft floated. So I think I'm all in, I'm ready for the real deal. I'm not sure what that means. Hasta...